very first launch. <laughs> so another embarrassing day for we at the Merritt Island Tracking Station. Unlike in Jiminy Two days where the power went out and left us in the dark, this time the computer software went out. The software refused to send Houston the metric tracking information. Uh, we again had failed to test all of the software tasks that were going to be required at the real liftoff at the same time. But we had a task of, of pointing not only our primary antennas that interface the shuttle directly, but also the cameras out at the runway, the shuttle runway, to point them at the shuttle, and uh, as well to point the shuttle landing space uh, at the shuttle when the shuttle got there. We didn't really have to run that routine at launch. But somebody said, well, let's fire it all up, you know, and ask the computer software to do everything for the entire mission, turn it all on at once, and that was uh, not the thing to do at that time. The computer says, I'm, I'm being asked to do too much, I can't stand this, I quit. The flight director has a kind of a worried look on his face, saying, what, no Mila? No, what's, what's this no tracking? Being the first flight, that was a mandatory requirement. And of course, so what Houston had to do was change the mission rules real quick and go with the radar skin track. The shuttle had no radar beacons, by the way. So the radar skin track of the vehicle and the telemetry, which was still good, uh, saying, I think I am here now, I think I'm here now. I'm George Jenkins, and that was one of my previously untold stories from the rocket range.